Okay, let's go ahead and continue. This is Ezekiel 22 and 26. Her priests, the so-called prophets, the people who think they know the word of the Most High, her priests do violence to my law and profane my holy things. They do not distinguish. You see that? See what we talked about not being over-righteous or over-wicked? Because you're not going to be able to, distinct, to distinguish the difference between the holy and the common. What's the common? The common is what everybody else is saying. You see what I'm saying? The same BS doctrine that they have been telling you is just a new person telling it. Those who he has blessed with the eyes to see, with the ears to hear, we can distinguish the difference between the holy and the common. Furthermore, it says that these people that think they know the ways of the Most High, they teach that there is no difference between the unclean and the clean. And they shut their eyes to the keeping of his sabbath you see that they'll tell you up and down how the sabbath is friday night to saturday night you have them posting it on their facebook walls shabbat shalom brother right these church people they talk about sunday is their sabbath day right so the true sabbath it's basically ignored from these people, right? And what is the true Sabbath? The true Sabbath is coming into the knowledge of Yahweh, resting in the name of your God. It's not that hard, bro. You see that? Now, they're dragging it. You see? They're trying to make it difficult than what it is. The Most High Yahweh was telling you to honor His name. So don't put nothing else before Him. You understand? Make the Most High Yahweh your priority that's how you how is life when you make your god your priority not no women not money not no men not no job you put your how will your god to be your priority and he becomes your life you see that and you will not become a dry bone because the breath of life will be in you so that's what it is the most high gives us the spirit to know the difference to distinguish between the holy and the common that is how we're able to because he puts that breath of life in us his spirit okay so we always get our rest every day we rest in the most high Yahweh. praise Yahweh for another day another week another month and as we said you know the, the majority of the so-called people right that want to teach the Word of God they want to be violent with it you see they themselves talk about gang members, right? They themselves talk about our brothers and sisters out there who smoke weed, who, you know, do whatever they do. Her officials within her are like wolves tearing their prey. That's what they do. They talk crap about, you know, oh, but these people in the street, these gang members, they're violent. Yeah, they're violent. But what about you, though? But the Most High Yahweh says that your words, guess what? Your words are like weapons, buddy. So you don't have to be picking up a weapon. Or you don't have to be getting into a fist fight with anybody to be violent. But what's coming out of your mouth is tearing these people apart. You see that? That's what's happening with these people out there. They'll go ahead and, you know, try to embarrass you. Oh, how you come here like that? Pick up your pants. Oh. You see that with their pants sagging and all this other stuff? You no different than a religious person, all right? You take your religious tendencies and go back to church. Stop trying to preach about the Most High, because that's what the majority of you people have to do, all right? Except the sincere brothers and sisters, they know who they are. But the majority of these people out there that think that they actually have some truth of the Most High, they're all religious-minded still. And that's the reason why they're stumbling. That's the reason why, you know, they cannot understand what the Most High Yahweh is revealing to us through His Spirit. And that's fine. It's not to make fun of anybody. It's just to show you that you got to change your ways first before you actually can receive this truth. All right? Everything that you think is truth, it has been taught to you by another man that taught that man and that another man taught that man that taught you. And that's how it goes. Okay? But you see, the way that this works here, the Most High Yahweh puts the Spirit in us to feel His words, to see what it means, okay? We actually are living, witnessing what is going on 
that's the difference here okay that's the difference this is happening today right now all right 2020 this was happening two or three years ago so this is what the most high Yahweh's words is showing us that what he said was going to happen it's happening versus what people is telling you what his words mean furthermore psalms 115 and 16 the highest heavens belongs to Yahweh, but the earth he has given to who to mankind okay to mankind so mankind they have done all sorts of evils on this earth they are continuing to do all sorts of evils on this earth and this is the reason why we're going to read isaiah 24 and 1. see Yahweh is going to lay waste the earth and devastate it he will ruin its face and scatter its inhabitants the earth will be completely laid waste and totally plundered Yahweh has spoken this word the earth dries up and withers see it's basically talking about the people you understand the people's minds their minds wither away why look at today what is everybody into bro their minds are wasted away everybody's only into live streaming their whole life away everybody's only into getting the money okay everybody's into getting their numbers up so this is what the most high Yahweh is saying right now the earth is dried up withered earth inhabitants have made this earth like this you see the most high Yahweh says be fruitful and multiply it says the earth is defiled by its people they have disobeyed the laws violated the statutes and broken the everlasting covenant therefore a curse consumes the earth its people must bear their guilt therefore earth's inhabitants are burned up and very few are left this is talking about now the times that we are living in what did it say it says that a curse consumes the earth see that a curse an evil spirit that flying scroll remember that this is why it says its people must bear their guilt it is a curse to trust in men it is a curse to worship an idol it is a curse to put anything other than Yahweh as a priority in your life do you get it it is cursed so very few people's minds right are focused on Yahweh, which are the people who he has chosen now to understand his name the people who he has revealed his words to we are the very few that are less praise Yahweh, and most high willing more will understand his words more will be willing to let go of their wicked ways you see that they may be the things that they have grown up to understand from their family maybe they're part of their culture part of their tradition but you have to understand that this right here is life Yahweh it doesn't matter if you never heard of Yahweh make it your business to want to know you see that there's plenty of brothers and sisters out there who honor the name of Yahweh as well you see that I'm just doing my part but at the end of the day you have to make it your business we cannot force you we cannot impose this on you because we're not religious okay at least i speak for myself on this i do not impose this on anybody i cannot make you believe in yahweh okay yahweh has done things in my life to show me that he is real to you know to to make me understand that this is the name yeah there's plenty of names out there that i could have came across and honored in worship but he has revealed to me throughout my life and have done things to show me that this is his name you see that i have always honored Yahweh. just probably in the past my mindset was different and i was honoring the name of the most high as well as putting an idol in front of the name of the most high but i have removed that idol from my mind i only worship purely 
the Father, Yahweh, the Creator, only because this is what Yahweh has revealed to me in my, you know, in my years or my time of understanding what you may call the truth. And so that's why you have to understand it yourself. You have to go through things in your life to understand that this is the truth, as you call it, okay? But again, you know, this is why it says everybody must bear their guilt. This is the reason why the scripture says that no man can redeem the life of another. It's impossible, okay? You have to feel the burn in order for you to learn, in order for you to be refined, all right? In order for you to have a clear mind to worship the Most High. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 12. Yahweh Almighty has a day in store for all the proud and lofty, for all that is exalted, and they will be humbled. So again, the day that Yahweh was talking about is now, when he cast his judgment upon the earth, upon earth inhabitants, upon the people who are not honoring his name only. Okay? Some people may not believe it, but hey, that's why they have to experience it. They have to see it for themselves. I can only, I, you know, I can only tell you that this is what is happening to you because this is what Yahweh has revealed to me. But you don't have to believe it. I believe it because it has been revealed to me. You see that? So this is why, if you don't humble yourself to the Most High Yahweh, you know, and if you want to be out there doing what you want, you want to be out there worshiping these false gods and these idols that cannot save you in these times, then. You're going to be humbled by Yahweh himself. That's what the Most High Yahweh is saying, okay? It's better that you humble yourself before he humbles you. Isaiah chapter 13 verse 6. Well, for the day of Yahweh is near. It will come like destruction from the Almighty, right? The day is talking about the time, which is now. It's being revealed like never before. For we have a couple of people who had heard about Yahweh, you know, back in the days, but now more and more people are hearing about Yahweh. Because why? Because of the social media, because of the internet, because of YouTube. So this is what the Most High Yahweh was saying. Everybody, right, they waste their time, you know, doing everything else, you know, on social media and on the internet. Which is not a problem to have your own leisure time, but the Most High Yahweh also says that there is a time and there is a place for everything. So sometimes, right, you have to put away all of that vanity, all of that stuff that's taking up, you know, the majority of your time, and you have to have some time for Yahweh. Because there's a scripture that also tells you that the proud and the wicked, they have no time in their mind for Yahweh. You see that? And I'm not telling you to go be all over righteous and read the whole Bible from front to back. No. I'm talking about have some time for Yahweh to want to know Him. You know, that that's the personal thing between you and the Most High. That's why I can't get involved. That's why nobody can get involved with the way that the Most High Yahweh works for me because it's a personal thing. You know, like there's no middleman at all. That's why we don't worship no Jeebus guys or no Idol Shai or no Messiah because there's no middleman at all. When you're worshiping the Most High, when you're praying to who you call God, and you're asking Him for whatever it is that is between you and the Most High. Ain't nobody got to know nothing, okay? So what it is, is that you have to build that faith. And that faith has to be built by you establishing, you know, a communication with God. It may sound weird at first for a whole lot of people, people who probably never even pray to God, but try it. It's real, okay? It's not about doing no voodoo or being on no witchcraft stuff. This is, this is your God, your creator who made you on this earth that he created. You have to get in touch with him. Stop getting in touch with the outer self, right, which is your physical stuff, you know. People love the way they look. They love, you know, to look drippy from head to toe. But at the end of the day, the most tell you how, right, you can connect with him through your spirit that is in you. That is the thing that you have to be working on. Not your looks on the outside, but the inside. The spirit that holds you all together as a human being. Because you don't live only by your flesh. 
you living because of a spirit that's inside of you which is why when people die their entire body goes cold because that spirit leaves them see why our god is also a consuming fire because his his spirit right it's, it's way hotter than the human spirit okay he is the ultimate spirit the great spirit the most high yahweh we were made in his image. You got to get in touch with him through your spirit. That's in you. That's in your flesh and bones. So again, the Most High Yahweh says that, you know, the day has come where he is doing judgment and salvation simultaneously. Peace and blessings to his children, but destruction and judgment upon the wicked. And it says, because of this, all hands will go limp. Every heart will melt with fear. Terror will seize them. Pain and anguish will grip them. They will wreath like a woman in labor. They will look aghast at each other. Their faces are flame. See, the day of Yahweh was coming, a cruel day, with wrath and fierce anger, to make the land desolate and destroy the sinners within it. You see that? So you got to understand, you know, these people out there, they may say, bro, there ain't no God, bro. If there was a God, none of this would be happening to me, da, 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 da. But at the end of the day, you got to understand that the Most High, he's not, he, there's no bribe that you could give him. That's why the scripture says that, because it's like, if you're not going to seek the Most High, if it's not going to come from you, right, then it's not true. Okay, that, like, that's, that's why the Most High is real. That's why Yahweh is real, because he's not forcing you to honor him. You understand? You have to find him. You have to seek him. And then he got you. He'll let you be about that whole life getting money, doing you out here, you know? But when things happen to you, it's going to be because you did not want to seek his blessings. You got to seek his blessings. They're not easy to come by, and that's the truth of it. That's why all these people who are in religious groups, you know, hey, they say they blessed, okay, if they think so. But the blessings of the Most High are not that easy to come by. You can't just like, you know, act for it like that and He's going to give it to you. You know, you have to really show the Most High that you are seeking His blessings. Of course, He's going to bless you in certain things. Don't get me wrong. But the true blessings, the true blessings of, you know, him changing your spirit to understand his words on a deep level. The, the true blessings of, you know, having your entire family protected, even though you live in the worst places in the world. You see, you have to earn those things. You see, they don't just come easily. All right, because the Most High Yahweh says that he's going to destroy the sinners in it, the people who are not going to want to seek him. Now, if you're finding, you know time to seek the most high if you are trying your best to you know seek yahweh then you are doing the right things this is why the most high yahweh says that he will bless you okay he will bless all of us who are honoring his name all of us who are not you know following wicked paths because these are the days of judgment a cruel day wrath and fierce anger is throughout the world